Yet Crossroads is still on our screens three times a week, nearly 22 years later. And just like any motel which thrives on people on the move, Crossroads is changing. The shake-up requires a tough-talking man at the top as manager to carry it through. I hear you're leaving anyway. Another tropical posting, I expect. A quick stop off at home for my shorts with the locust-proof pocket flaps, and I'm off. It's a shame. You could have had a very bright future with me. Oh, do you think so? You are another place by the time I finish shaking it up. You are a ruthless beggar. I knew it. It'll be unrecognisable in six months. Golly. Now, so vigorous are the changes planned that by the summer, only three of the 20 regulars of the past few years will actually remain at the motel. And the man responsible for that shake-up is the new producer, William Smethers, who, it is said, having watched the show for the first time, confided to his friends that he felt sick for a week. Bill Smethers in Birmingham, this is what the press said about you. Did you actually say this, and were you sick for a week? Uh, no. Um well, I, I wouldn't say that the press ever say anything which isn't true, but uh, I don't remember being sick for a week, and um, I'm not at all sure that there'll only be three people left come the summer. Really? There might, be even, le there might be even less than three, you're saying? Oh, no, I think it'll be more than that. <laughs> Bill, why is Crossroads such a joke? It is regarded, certainly by the press, as being a joke, and it doesn't come up to the sort of uh, analytical ratings of um, EastEnders or whatever. Why is it such a joke? Well, my theory is that somewhere a long time ago, um, Crossroads was rather bad. I don't know when it was, it may have been many years ago, and somehow it got this image, and that image has stuck to it, and I don't think it's been that bad for a long time now. Right, viewer-wise, how does it shape up? Uh, where does it stand in the ratings, for instance? Is it in the top ten, or...? Well, it's in ITV's top ten, just about. Um, it's doing very well, it gets 12, 13 million. Uh, which is not bad at all. Mm. Now, the fact that you've come in and you've scrapped so many of the regular um, actors uh, in the series, wouldn't it just have been easier to scrap the whole lot and start afresh? Um, well, nobody asked me to do that. I haven't got total freedom. Would that be in the back of your mind? Yes. Given a free hand, is that what you would do? No, I wouldn't. Um, I think Crossroads is a, a very good programme, basically. I think it's always been very good. It's always had strength, great strength attached to it. And I just hope to continue that great tradition. 22 years, I think, now. Right. A lot of people are saying that they fear that you will not continue that great tradition because of the changes you are implementing. I want, you to, I want to introduce you, actually, to one of them who's joined us here in the studio, and that's Jane Sargent, who is herself um, a hotel receptionist. That's correct, that's right. Jane, isn't yes. it? Right. And you wrote to us, and you were very irate about what is happening at Crossroads. Now, what in particular? Get up your nose. Well, the point being is that Crossroads always had a certain standard, but the characters that Mr. Smetherhurst seems to be bringing in are just lowering the tone and the standard of the whole programme. Um, if, as I believe Mr. Smethers has been quoted as saying, he wants to make the pro programme more Midlands orientated, why on earth and does he find it necessary to bring in such blatantly over the top characters like? the diabolical Grice family at the corner shop that has nothing to do with the motel and also Mrs Tardiby who wouldn't last five minutes in a hotel at all. Well, Bill, why? Oh, Bill? well, yes, there we are. She doesn't like the Grices and she doesn't like Mrs Tardiby. No. I'm awfully sorry. I think the Grices are, are very good. I think Karen Murden, who plays Beverly Grice, is, is going to be a nationally known very, very popular figure. I think the whole family is very good indeed. I like the scripts, I like watching them. Um, I'm the producer, so I put it on. What yes. more can I say? Oh, do do the cast like you. Sorry? You, do the cast like you. You like the scripts, you like watching the, the programmes. You, you've been nicknamed uh, Butcher Smethurst. Mm. Um, are you a popular man down there at Central Television? As well, I, I don't know. The cast probably wouldn't tell me if I wasn't. I mean, they're not going to come up to me and say, I don't, we don't like you, are they? Well, apparently, one of, one of the cast is, is, is reported in the press as having taken a swing at you. Um, Mickey yes. Doyle? Mickey yes, Doyle, right. Martin Smith in real life? Yes. Was this true? I don't know. He didn't do it while I was there. Um, I, I certainly was told afterwards that uh, another actor had to restrain him by saying, if you hit William Smethurst, you'll never work uh, on television again. I think that was a very perceptive and wise thing for him to say. And I, uh, so one can presume he was not too happy at being dropped from the series then? 
Uh, I don't suppose he was happy, no, but I, I wouldn't put much credence on reports about him trying to hit me either. Well, Jane, what do you think of, of Bill's methods about well, the I... characters that he has dropped, for instance? Would Mickey Doyle have been a popular character with you? Um, not particularly, but I could see... Um, I could see a slot for Mickey in the whole procedure. Um, but I disagree entirely with him about the, the family and uh, Mrs Tardybig. I mean, what has the Grice family got to do with the motel? Because surely the programme was originally set round the lives of people who lived and worked yes. and came to stay at and the motel. And checked in the hotel. Why is it not based on something like the, the ITV Soap Hotel, the Arthur Haley programme? Why isn't it? Yes. Well, I mean, there's no reason why it should be. Identical. If you go back and look at the crossroads 10, 15 years ago, you'll find it was really far more about the village of King's Oak. There was the vicar in the programme and the woman who ran the little shop. It really was about far more than just a motel. And um, perhaps I'm trying to move it back to those days. Well, this is the man who's come from the archers to do this. Do you think yeah. it needed somebody coming from Dallas or Dynasty? No, I wouldn't say Dallas or Dynasty, but I certainly think that he, there was no need to bring uh, the people that he's brought in at the present time. I mean, I should personally, I think it's an insult to the Midlands people. Is it at an all-time low, do you it think? Is it is at an all-time low, Right, yes. let me open up the conversation somewhat and introduce a few telephone calls. I'd like to go to Donna Hadi first in County Down, where Elizabeth Laverty uh, should be on the line. Good afternoon, Elizabeth. Good afternoon. Elizabeth, would you like to put your question to Bill Smethurst? I, good morning, Mr. Smethurst. Good morning. Uh, I'm afraid that your uh, interviewer there, the lady you have with you, has uh, said everything that's nearly possible to say. But I, I would need at least an hour with Mr. Smethurst time to thoroughly discuss uh, what I feel about Crossroads, I was delighted when I heard and read that Crossroads was having a new producer who I understood was going to try and revive the deterioration and return it more to its old form. But you have achieved, Mr. Smith, of what I thought was impossible and made it worse. <laughs> <laughs> the, the Congratulations, old, Bill. If all these, when these changes are being made, I suggest you change the name as a new version in no way compares with the old crossroads we all loved and enjoyed so much. It, as her lady says, had dignity, tone, style, and was a cut above the usual soaps. Now it has been brought down to the kitchen felt level. You're quite enjoying all this criticism, Bill, aren't you? This no, 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 I'm not enjoying it at all. No, no, I'd, I'd much rather all saying how wonderful it is and how wonderful the changes are. What I would say is that the changes that are coming about in Crossroads only started in um, around about the middle of January. How long would you ask viewers to give you to uh, produce the goods? Well, rather more than about five weeks, which is what we've had sure. so far. Uh, actually, about six months. Well, I don't know if Natalie Anglesey watches Crossroads or not, but she's certainly working very busily away in the phone room. Do you watch it, Natalie? Occasionally, Eamon, when I'm not too busy working on open air. But I don't want to depress Bill Smethurst any more than he's been depressed already. But whilst you've been talking to him, we've had over 100 calls of complaint about the new format. Sorry about that, Bill. They include uh, people like Mrs. Talbot, who's rung in from Somerset to say, watching Crossroads since the beginning, I was a great fan. Now it wins my accolade as nearly the worst show on television. Agnes Walker's rung in from Carlisle. She thinks it's gone downhill terribly. It used to be very good family viewing, but what a what has Bill Smethers done to it. Meryl Holstad's rang from Grimsby to say, what kills the programme is that the new cast have got the most awful phony Brummy accents, so something's got to be done about tightening that up. Olive Parfrit from London's also been on the line to say it's now being brought down to street level, and she doesn't like that very much indeed. And finally, James Wilde from Birkheath says he's watched for 10 years he always thought it was one of the best programmes on television, uh, but this new manager doesn't seem to be uh, uh, very capable of running anything, let alone a hotel. I have some comfort for Bill Smethurst. I've heard it on the grapevine that the famous TV critic Nina Miskoff likes the new Crossroads, so he's lucky he won't be being wallied by her for a while yet.